Hello, welcome back to another Mother Channel's video. It's match day number three. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again for those of you who haven't seen the previous two match days, I recommend going and watching them. And for those of you who can't be bothered, which is probably most of you, let's be honest, here is the league table so far. So after the first two games, this is how it looks going into the third. Interesting stuff. I know you've got Skyport at the top, you've got ORC Athletic at the top as well. Those are the two that have won both their matches. Are ORC Athletic going to make it three matches on the trot in a row? They're up against Flingman Hedge Spurs, you can see here, which aren't doing too bad. They're not the worst one out there, but they're not the best either. But yes, the first one, we have Flingman Hedge Spur, the spider team, against ORC Athletic with Schmechter and his little boys here. Let's get into the first match. Yeah, that's right. They're going for it. They're bouncing around a lot, but boy, are they going for it. Have we got any deaths on the cards already? I can see some little blood splatters down there. Some goop has been spilled. Some goop has definitely been spilled now. This is going to become my catchphrase by the end of it, but who's your money on, people? Who's your money on? Who is your money on? Mine is on the ORC, and I imagine everyone else is on the ORC. Actually, I don't know. Two broodmothers and a black widow. If, if they're still going, if the two Broodmothers and the Black Widow are still there at the end, take down everything else and it's just those three against Schmechter, they might stand a chance, you know. I think they might have it. So let me know, for those of you who have watched every single one so far, let me know if there's any like little tweaks I can make, anything I can do to make this even better. No, no, no Black Ox, I put a ceiling on there. I put a ceiling on there to stop you all flying away. But yeah, if there's anything you can see that I'm doing that's wrong or that you think I could do better, if... Black Widow is down already. But yeah, any little adjustments I can make to make it easier or make the, the um, map a little bit better. I've already put the trampolines in the corners to stop them getting glitched, so they'll just bounce back in to play. That was easy. I thought Flingman stood a chance there. ORC. ORC, they are God. I tell you, it's starting... There's, there's a gap being created between the top and the like mediocre ones. ORC are up there. They're flying high. Three wins out of three matches. This captain has taken his team strong going forward. Did any of them actually die? Oh yeah, like none of them died. What the hell? They're an absolute unit. It, it's definitely going to be, be between Skyport and, and ORC Athletic. Um, but let's see. Let's see on to the next. Look what is in front of you. It's Mishits, my favourite, against Skyport. Are Skyport going to make it three out of three? Skyport County against FC Mishits. Let's go. Oh, this is what I came to see. They can hit them. They can hit them up there. I mean, I, I don't think they're going to win, but they can definitely ground them, which is the best part. Oh, mate, they're actually... They're not doing too bad. They genuinely aren't... Again, I can't actually see what's going on, but they've killed a few. I can see death. I can definitely see death. Because we know Miss Shits have won one and lost one. This is how we tell if they are actually that good. Because they beat AFC Grasslands, but they're terrible anyway. Everyone seems to beat them. And then they lost to... I can't remember who they lost to. Uh, Flingman Hedgespur, the, the spider team. But now they seem... Mate, they're actually doing all right. Like, if you sort of peer through the, the cloud of shit, you can sort of see a lot of dead wasps. Come on, midgets! Come on, boys! Woo! I'm probably celebrating way too early because they've still got a queen to take down. Hey, it's just the queen left! It's just the queen left! Am I... What are you doing up there? How did you get up there? Oh, come on, boys. Come on. This is what we wanted. This is what I thought would have happened. When it came to flying creatures, they would absolutely annihilate them, which is exactly what they're doing. There's eight pit ant lions and eight roamers. So the roamers are just like coming here, there and everywhere. And they're flinging little little black ants at them. Oh, there's no way the queen's got this. If she somehow wins this, fair play. Fair play. Come on, lads. Come on, boys. Don't get into a, don't get into a little fist fight with her. It's, it's not worth it. Keep your distance. There we go. It's a good ant lion. You're a good ant lion. Yeah, get her. Whoever commented saying they also hate the wasps. This is for you. This is for us. This is for us. Redemption. At its finest. Yes! They did it! They did it! Only one pit ant lion died. What? That's mental. That's insane. <laughs> yes, get in there. Oh, the gaps are being created now. 
they're being created. FC Mischitz has just caused an absolute upset. They are now joint on points with Skyport County. Can anyone stop ORC Athletic? They just, they're just flying high right now. We've peaked. We've peaked too soon. The second match has peaked so much that now it can only just go like that. But I'm going to try and get it to go like that. If you know what I mean. <laughs> so this one is quite an interesting one. This is sort of like the ant off. I know they're obviously termites, but there's like similar sort of style. They look the same. Stop being racist. They just sort of, they're, they're, they're similar. So this is like the battle of the ants. Obviously there are a hell of a lot more red ants. Um, but this is also a battle of the, the shittest to see who's actually the worst because they're both lying like at the bottom. I don't think either of them have won a match. So which one of these is going to get three points for the first time today? I swear to God, if this is somehow a draw, ugh. Right, let's find out, let's find out. Yeah, they're going for it! They're going for it! I'd like to say this would be Shedfield win. What, what's with the bouncing? I would like to say, yeah, Shedfield win, just because they got five Termite Kings, but at the same time, there are a, a hell of a lot of worker ants here. But they sort of have, like, the area attack the Termites do. They have the, um, the dust attack, which helps. <laughs> Look at them running away! What are you doing over there? I'm guessing they're low on health. They're just like getting out of here. Yay! Yeah! You're not getting away that easy. That's it. <laughs> yeah, get back in there. Get back in. <laughs> I'm not even watching the fight. Oh god, a lot has happened since I left. Look at him. <laughs> He's trying to get back in. Oh. Someone just volley him into the back of the goal. <laughs> yeah, right. Shedfield looked like they've won this one. Yep, that is it. It la it went way quicker than I actually thought it would. I thought this would last a hell of a lot longer, but no, the the AFC Grasslands are just awful. They are hands down, they are not finishing this with any points. Unless somehow there's a draw and like a stalemate, which there really shouldn't be. They're going to finish bottom. We know that. We knew that the first game, but we definitely know that now the third game in. If they get one point, I'll be surprised. But um, there you have it, Shedfield. Three points for Shedfield. On to the last game! So, last up, we have, obviously, Hayes to Town. Look at these guys here. There's two decent ones, the rest are kind of like, meh. And by meh, I mean they're awful. They're awful. They're just there to sort of flesh it out a little bit. And then we have Wheelbarrow Wanderers. The Wanderers of the Wheelbarrow area and other areas, but they wander the Wheelbarrow. You know how it is. Which are absolute tanks. This is actually quite an interesting one. I'm going to give it to Hayes to Town. I'm not going to give it to them. I, I just, I'm going to predict that they're going to win. That would be a waste of time. I spawn them all in and just declare them, yeah, you're the winner. But yeah, just because of the infected broodmother and the health difference is insane. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out. Here we go. Straight in. Straight in. The only problem I always find with Black Ox Beetles, whenever you put them into like this sort of scenario, is they always try the rock attack. But the issue with the rock attack is when there's too many of them, which you guys obviously know. It's the rocks just like ricochet off of other things and don't really do anything. They like hit the other black ox and just bounce back. There you go, infected wolfies out of there, infected ladybirds out of there. Ladybug, sorry. Oh, an infected ladybird. Imagine that. That'd be cool. They should make like a whole infected team with like all of these bugs. It'd be so awesome. An infected black ox. That'd be insane. So it is now just down to, as we all expected, the infected broodmother against all of these. I'd like to say this is a fair fight, but I still feel like she's going to win. Just like HP damage basis, she's going to absolutely annihilate them. They might take down one of her lives, but I think that's probably about it. Like all the Black Oxes are pretty much done. There's one left. And she's the main culprit for bouncing into the corner. She's the reason why I had to put the bounce pads there to just knock her back in. And she hasn't done it this time. Look at that. Right, what is going on with the bounce pad? She's now in the bounce pad. Why is she just exempt to everything? And she's gone through the glitch again. Anyone know why that happens? Does it happen to any of you guys? I imagine it does, and it's not just me. I'm pretty sure it happens to everyone. No! <laughs> God! Thank God for the ceiling, otherwise... The roof, otherwise he would have just disappeared. A dream team. Take down one life. One life would be fine. Yay! That's good enough. That's good enough. One life. I mean, she does have two more. So, boys, get back. Get back. She's going to single you out. The sun... The sun has finally come out, IRL, not in the game. In England, which is, yeah, crazy. If you can see the lines on my face. My curtains are closed, I've got a window right in front of me. Just what? Ah! Ah! 
No. <laughs> my eyes. My poor eyes. Oh. Oh, two of them died while I was having uh, an, an issue, a lighting issue. And there he goes. There he goes. Hayes to win that one. Hayes to win that one. They are slowly moving up the board. They're making their way up there. So I reckon a top three between ORC Athletic, Skyport County, and Hayes to Town. I want Mishits to be at least top four, top three. I reckon Mishits four. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because they beat Skyport, I think they're going to be amazing. But this is how it. This is how it looks currently. It's exciting stuff. It's exciting stuff. So you got ORC Athletic, obviously at the top, and then you got all of these guys that are all on like six points. ORC are the only one to win all three matches, and you got the crappy little one, ASC Grasslands. They're going to lose it. They're not going to get any points. But yeah, match day number three. This is how it looks. Going into match day number four, there will be more amazing battles. Eventually, we're going to get ORC and Skyport, which will be a decent one. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Like I said, if there are any any recommendations you have, any any alter alterations to the teams or anything like that that you'd like to see, any new teams that you can think of, let me know. Mites are off the table. We're not doing mites. It's just ridiculous. Or Nat, a team of Nats is just this, <laughs> as funny as it would be. It's not going to happen. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and good. Bye.